Mike Dell's World, number 148, for January 25th, 2010. And that's uh, Brother Smith off of the Music Alley website at musicalley.com, formerly the podcast, what is it, what do they call that? The Podsafe Music Network. There we go. Anyway, welcome to uh, Mike Dell's World. Sorry I didn't do one last week. Uh, I was a little under the weather. Oh, by the way, that uh, song, uh, Running to New Orleans, that's uh, in honor of the uh, New Orleans Saints uh, winning their 
championship game last night and heading to the Super Bowl for the first time. Uh, I'm not really a, uh, a football fan to speak of, but uh, that was a pretty spectacular game we watched last night, and I figure it was worthy to play some uh, New Orleans music. Anyway, uh, I like I said, I was under the weather a little bit last week, and I'll tell you all about that coming up. Uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar with Mike Dell's world and who I am, I'm just a regular guy, podcaster, uh, sitting in my basement in northwest Michigan, and uh, just like to talk about whatever uh, pops into my mind, play a little bit of music, you know, just your basic uh, hobby podcaster. Well, not totally a hobby. I do have a sponsor here. Uh, speaking of which, I might as well get that over with. Uh, we are sponsored here by GoToMeeting by Citrix. And uh, if you ever had to uh, travel in all this crappy weather we get this time of the year, uh, GoToMeeting is a really great alternative to doing that. Um, you know, it's like the other day uh, around here, well, it wasn't the other day, maybe it was two weeks ago. See, my time is just not, uh, not flowing well today. <laughs> anyway, a couple weeks ago, we had, uh, extremely heavy weather around here, uh, where, you know, if you had to drive 50 miles, that could be a real, you know, pain in the butt. And with go to meeting, if, if all you got to do is talk to somebody or show them something on the computer or, or even uh, manipulate their computer or have them manipulate your computer. Uh, you can do it all with GoToMeeting. Uh, saves on uh, travel, you know, airfare, or if you have to fly somewhere. Uh, this is just really simple. Uh, all, uh, all that you have to do to host a meeting is everybody simply logs on to GoToMeeting and then they can see your desktop or uh, you can switch it to them and you can see what they're doing and it's really handy. I collaborate with a guy down in Florida on a regular basis on this uh, large project that we've been doing over the last few months, and we do it twice weekly. Uh, we have a scheduled go to meeting session where we, uh, you know, I ask questions and he answers them, and then he asks questions and I answer them, and we show each other uh, how we're progressing on the project and. Uh, you know, I'm way up here in Michigan, and he's uh, way down there in Florida, and neither one of us has to get on an airplane or anything. So, anyway, listeners to my show can get a free go to meeting, uh, uh, free go to meeting trial for 30 days. Uh, that is over at. Let me look, can't see my script here. Anyway, you got to go to go to meeting dot com slash tech podcasts and. That's go to meeting.com slash tech podcast with an F with an S tech podcast, plural. <laughs> anyway, do that for your 30 day trial. Uh, you know, give it a try. You know, it's really handy even fixing uh, my and dad's computer. If you don't feel like driving over there. So anyway, yeah, I mentioned I was under the weather. Uh, I have a, I had a cracked tooth. Uh, what it was was I had a, uh, uh, filling, one of those old metal fillings from way back then. And uh, anyway, it, over time, those things expand, apparently, and it expanded and cracked the tooth in like three different places. And it had been bugging me, but I really didn't know it was that tooth. Uh, it was also kind of weird. Uh, it was a bottom molar way in the back, but... I was feeling the pain up top, uh, so I never did figure out what that's all about. But uh, anyway, the uh, the uh, root root canal doctor figured it out. But uh, Wednesday night, the thing all of a sudden went into complete uh, meltdown mode. Where I mean, it was the worst pain I ever felt in my life. I couldn't couldn't eat, couldn't sleep, couldn't do nothing, and I couldn't get into the dentist till the next day. So. Uh, I spent the entire night uh, up putting ice water in my mouth, and uh, when as soon as it warmed up, I had to spit it out and put some more ice water on there, which seems backwards because usually stuff like that hurts when you uh, put cold on it, but uh, not this time. <laughs> anyway, so uh, was it was a Thursday morning. I finally got into uh, the dentist, or actually 
they call him a and I don't even remember the the word, but uh, a specialist in root canals. But he got me in right away uh, in the morning and got me in the chair, got me numbed up, and I fell asleep while he did the root canal. It's the most amazing thing uh, I ever saw. I guess he says it's not that uncommon if somebody's been in pain for that long and not been able to sleep. As soon as the pain goes away, they go to sleep. But uh, anyway, he got that uh, all fixed up, or at least temporarily fixed up. Still got some more work to do, but uh, definitely feels better. But then, uh, of course, I caught the uh, post-dental uh, work uh infection, not major infection, but just kind of felt puny for a few days. Uh, you know, been, uh, today I'm feeling human, so I'm doing a podcast. Hey, I'm also uh, up on Ustream. I see uh, Dr. A's in there, a uh, guy I know from Ohio, and uh, good morning to you. And uh says I've got three or four more listeners uh, and or viewers there on Ustream. Something I'm just trying out. It's the first time I've done it. Uh, Got my uh, MacBook hooked up and I'm waving at the camera or waving at the MacBook. <laughs> anyway, so I got that set up over there and yeah, I don't know. We'll try this. Uh, I've already done one podcast this morning. I did the uh, Tech Podcast Weekly uh, show. I actually, uh, in all of my uh, busyness and uh, and uh, being under the weather and all that, I, I had forgot I'd signed up for this week. So uh, I go look and, you know, usually it's posted sometime uh, on Sunday night. And so I went to look, see if there was a new one and voila, I'm supposed to be doing the new one. So <laughs> that's all right. I was uh, all ready for it. And got that done. And then I set up for uh, for this one. And I'm probably going to do a Geek of the North after this. So uh, I don't know. It might be a day of podcasting. It's also my birthday. Not to toot my own horn, but, uh, you know, everybody has them. And this one just happens to be mine. I'm the same age as the Super Bowl. So if you, you ever uh, wonder how old I am, uh, just look at the upcoming Super Bowl. And uh, that's how old I am. <laughs> so... Anyway, and rumor has it I was born on the first Super Bowl day, uh, Super Bowl Sunday, but I, I don't know if that's true. Plus, I was born in Germany, so with all the time changes and stuff, who knows? <laughs> anyway, and I was talking about weather earlier. Uh, we've had some very unseasonable weather up here. Uh, you know, while the south was getting all that cold and all that, we were getting warm, and we're still getting warm although it's uh, it's fixing to change i'm told uh, but right now uh we're still slightly above freezing and it's been dropping all morning uh started out in you know over 40 and all weekend it was you know in the 40s and you know we had quite a snowpack from uh, december and the uh, first half of january and then it's all gone. Well, it's not all gone. I mean, you know, the, where the plows have plowed it up, there's still uh, big banks and all that. Um, and then, uh, uh, you know, but in, you know, in the flat areas where there formerly was, uh, I don't know, I, I would say there was probably uh, two feet of snow at, at one time. It's now down to about six inches in some places and uh, actually some places in my yard there's green grass coming up through uh, just you know a little bit you know splotches where the snow is melted all the way down to the to the grass and, and the driveways uh, actually got mud in it uh, in the gravel part and then the concrete part you can actually see concrete which you know doesn't usually happen in january I mean, we do get a January thaw, but it usually isn't this uh, pronounced. But like I said, uh, tonight it's supposed to start snowing, so it should be back to normal for here anyway. What else has been going on? Uh, a lot. I, this is the first uh, Mike Dell's World I've done uh, with the new studio arrangement, so hopefully it uh, is sounding as good as it ever did. Uh, I, di I didn't really change any of the equipment, uh, other than I got this, uh, fancy, uh, 
foam rubber thing on the microphone to uh, keep me from popping my peas and uh, whatever. It just looks better, I guess. <coughs> oh, yeah, I was going to say, uh, along with studio stuff, I bought a, a mic stand or, you know, microphone holder from uh, Heil Sound. And, you know, it's one of those big boom desk mic uh, holders. And, I don't know, I had it about two years. And and while I was uh, making this uh, move and rearranging and, and all that down here in my studio, which was formerly just the basement, but now, now I call it my studio because now it's sort of finished off. Uh, still got uh, some work to do. I'm going to put in a drop ceiling and uh, I want to put a backdrop and uh, get get my uh, big camera hooked up so that I can actually do uh, some video uh, other than Ustream. So it uh, looks like Dr. A took off. Well, busy guy, you know. Uh, but anyway, um, I want to put, you know, I've got my, uh, you know, my regular big video camera and might as well uh, hook that up. I've got room for it, a tripod, and then it would just, uh, you know, and I want to make a backdrop, you know, so that, I don't know if I want to do a green screen, but I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to just do, just do some sort of generic backdrop so you don't see, uh, you don't see the uh, 1970s paneling that we've got down here in the basement uh, <laughs> and all that, but I guess it's not that offensive. Uh, so anyway, I've got, got some plans. Uh, along that lines with some video that seems to be the the thing everybody's doing now but i won't push video down this uh this feed so don't worry about that it'll uh, be live video uh usually probably on Ustream, and then it'll uh be uploaded to you know youtube or or you know one of the online sites and then uh, linked back to the web page speaking of the web page I finally think I've settled on a, a new uh, WordPress theme. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but uh, it's it's pretty uh, customizable. Uh, right now, uh, I think I've settled on the color scheme, but it might be a little too cartoonish. But uh, <laughs> I, I think it looks pretty okay. You go check it out, uh, MikeDell.com. And I'm going to... Uh, do some more tweaking with the colors, I'm sure, and and all that. But uh, I think it's it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy to to take care of. Pretty easy to manipulate, and uh, everything works right. And that's what we all want. So I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna use this theme as my default theme across uh, most of my websites because it's it's uh, very customizable. So anyway. Alrighty, uh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and play another song. Uh, this one uh, is uh, by the group Hazy Dixie, and you know how I like banjo music. Well, this is a, a banjo version of a rock song. See, because I've gotten some some uh, feedback saying that you know you play too much of that twangy music. Why don't you play some rock and roll? Here's your rock and roll.
Okay, I gotta admit, that was twangy. Oh, well. Anyway, that was Hasey Dixie doing their uh, cover of Black Dog. <laughs> anyway. Hey, uh, one more thing that uh, started last week. Uh, I think I mentioned it in the last show that uh, my wife, Kathy, had uh, got a, a new job after the place she worked at for 20 years uh, closed down. Uh, right around Christmas time. So uh, anyway, so now she's the uh, sales manager at a uh, another big resort hotel here on uh, on the bay in Traverse City. I won't get uh, extremely sp- specific, and uh, I wouldn't really be specific because there's probably thirty hotels on the bay. <laughs> but uh, this is uh, one of only two on on one of the bays. Anyway. <laughs> So she's a sales manager over there doing uh, basically what she was doing for the other company. Uh, doing, uh, you know, planning uh, weddings and banquets and, and that kind of thing. And uh, selling hotel rooms and food and, and whatever. And and uh, she's really enjoying the job. And uh, for the first time in uh, at least 18 years, maybe more, she doesn't have any employees under her. She's not. Uh, She's not the uh, one they call when they have trouble. Uh, And uh, she's really digging that because, you know, for the last uh, few years, as this uh, business she was working at was winding down, I mean, everybody kind of knew it was, it was winding down. The uh, new, the the new owners had plans for that, uh, that space. And, uh, you know, they'd keep operating the conference center until, such time as uh, they needed the space for something else. And uh, that time came and they closed it down. But over that time, you know, she was pretty much the uh, the one running the whole show over there. And, uh, you know, she'd get phone calls all, all the time, day, night, weekend, whatever. And now she doesn't have that. Uh, she doesn't have that uh, responsibility. Uh, she's got other responsibilities and... Uh, and all that, but she she's liking it, and uh, that's a good thing. Yeah, she uh, she's she's one that uh, if she doesn't stay busy, she gets uh, gets bored and uh, all that. So it's a good thing she doesn't have to uh, sit all winter uh, waiting for the uh, hospitality uh, industry to to uh, wake up in the spring. So she'll. Uh, be able to ease into it. Uh, actually, right now is a good time for sales at a resort uh, for people planning their their weddings in the spring and and uh, all that good stuff. So uh, she'll uh, she'll do good at that. Uh, and I think uh, I think it's uh, right up right up her alley. So anyway, uh, really don't uh, have a ton for this this show. Uh, as far as uh, me getting up on a soapbox or anything, uh, nothing's bugging me too bad. I was really happy to see that uh, there was intelligent life in Massachusetts, but uh, <laughs> like I said, whether that'll make any difference uh, in the uh, you know what goes on in Washington, who knows? But it uh, definitely seems to have sent a wake-up call to. Uh, the powers that be that uh, they, they got to listen a little bit more to the people. And then uh, that's uh, basically the, the message that was sent. And uh, like I said, congratulations to uh, Scott Brown, the newest senator from uh, Massachusetts. Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> anyway, with that, uh, I think I will just uh, close this down, make this one a short one, uh, easy upload. And, uh, did the Ustream experiment here. Uh, I'll uh, see if I can somehow extract that video and uh, get that posted somewhere. You can just go over and check it out at uh, Ustream.tv uh, and, look and search for Mike Dell's World. Uh, it'll be there. Along with a few other times I've I've done videos over there. Actually, I've, I've recorded my radio show that way. Uh, you know, where I put the MacBook up on the turntables in the studio and <laughs> that, uh, that was always somewhat popular. Eventually I'm going to get a camera in the studio. Well, there is cameras in the studio, but I don't know how to tap into them, uh, for the TV system. 
uh, local cable system has a, a cable access channel, uh, and the college has an access channel. Well, uh, this radio station's at the college, and so they put in uh, three cameras in the radio studio. And during the morning show, they have a morning talk show from 6 till 8, 8.15. It's kind of a loose ending. But uh, that's televised on the uh, local cable system on the uh, college's access channel. I'd love to be able to tap into that uh, video and then uh, send, you know, do, do the, some of the music shows uh, via the internet, you know, like Ustream or Justin TV or, I don't know, there's a few of them. And, you know, I think that might be mildly interesting to somebody. Really, my show, all you do is see me running back and forth to the CD shelves and uh, putting CDs away and putting CDs back in, you know, and load them in the machine and pushing buttons and occasionally talking. You know, it's not really exciting. Actually, it's not really exciting video uh, watching me record this, but uh, <laughs> people seem to like it. Uh, some people anyway. Uh, and a lot of shows are doing it. And, uh, hey. I jump on the bandwagon sometimes. So anyway, thanks for uh, watching or listening. This is Mike Dell, and I will catch you later, and uh, you can catch me later. That's that's what I'm supposed to say. Just like that, that 2010 thing. It's supposed to be 2010, but I stumbled on that at the beginning, if you noticed. Anyway, catch me later. <laughs> That's all, folks.